Well, it's an event inspired by period recipes served by Abraham and Mary Lincoln, and it's coming to the Mary Todd Lincoln House, a fitting place. Here to tell us about the Lincoln's Kitchen food from the presidential years are Jonathan Coleman, curator at the Mary Todd Lincoln House, and Chef Tanya Whitehouse, who will actually be dishing these up. This is, uh, I think, a great thing, especially us here uh, in Kentucky, the Mary Todd Lincoln House. You guys do such a great job with the history and everything, and this is kind of the next step in the process. Let's bring some food and history together. Right. <laughs> so uh, tell us a little bit about this, uh, this evening ahead of us. Sure, so it's really for the Mary Todd Lincoln House. It's our first foray into uh, the history of food, and of mm -hmm. course, uh, as Tanya and I were talking earlier, food touches everything. And it does. And of course, um, Lincoln is known as a bit of a rustic, uh, but by the time he was in the White House, things were different in terms of mm -hmm. what was heading uh, to his plate. So I think a lot of folks will be surprised. Uh, so it's going to be a great, um, a great evening with uh, some wonderful dishes, some uh, period-appropriate libations okay. uh, gleaned from some great old recipes. So it's a wonderful way to get your history in and, and dinner. Yeah, you guys uh, <laughs> from the Maritime Lincoln House teaming up with Food Connection. Tanya, that's where you come in. Uh, before we get started with some of the dishes, tell us a, a little bit about Food Connection. Well, Food Connection is a university department, and it grew out of the public-private contract with our dining services. It's Aramark. Mm -hmm. uh, we do education, outreach, and research in trying to develop the most uh, local, seasonal, vibrant uh, food system in mm -hmm. the Lexington community. We teach that to the students on campus. Okay, and of course you mentioned local, and that's all they had back in the day. Right. Uh, that's you the work way they with, did it you know, it maybe an acre or two around <laughs> you. That's the best you can do. Uh, so tell us about some of the dishes and how they came about, actually. We are going to do a rustic chicken liver pate, uh, and we're going to source that from Marksbury Farms. Uh, then we're going to move on to a julienne soup, which is a clarified stock soup, again. Uh, locally sourced beef and lamb bones mm -hmm. and uh, locally sourced vegetables. Then we're going to move on to what's called Captain's Chair and it's a braised chicken dish with some um, tomato ketchup Old timey Old tomato, time, yeah, okay. tomato <laughs> ketchup, uh, grandmother's recipe, and it's made with tomatoes off UK's research farm. Okay. Uh, again, chicken from Marksbury. We're going to source local sweet potatoes, local greens, and then uh, the Pièce de Résistance is mm -hmm. the dessert. Of course, uh, we have a vanilla almond cake. Oh wow! Sounds fantastic, even for whatever time period. Uh, <laughs> now the cake has a very famous recipe. It's a storied recipe. Mm -hmm. Supposedly came uh, here from Lexington, uh, from a confectioner that Mary was quite close to. Okay. And Lincoln once wrote that it was his favorite cake, and it was a staple at the White House. We so all love sugar. Direct from <laughs> we Lexington. Can't help it. We are uh, we are tight on time. <laughs> but if people want more information, where can they go? Sure, you can contact us at the Mary Todd Lincoln House. It's on our website. Uh, mtlhouse.org uh, or give me a call at the Mary Todd Lincoln House at 859-233-9999. We'll keep up the good work and uh, I might have to turn up for this one too. Yeah. Bring your appetite to <laughs> exactly. Thanks guys, It'll we be a lot of food. it. Alright, we're going to sit down with the UK Extension and talk about some Halloween safety for the kiddos. That's after the break.